it's Petersburg, West Virginia, they can actually see a little bit of snow out to the west in the mountainous areas later tonight. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. But I want to widen out the picture because there is a disturbance here which is churning through the upper Midwest. This energy you see out here in portions of Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin, even down through Tennessee, this energy is moving overhead to our neck of the woods. We have the clouds now, but as this energy rotates through, it may squeeze out a sprinkler flurry. Doesn't look like a lot, believe you me, very minimal amounts of moisture, but nonetheless, there's that chance. So tomorrow morning, 30s, as you get going through the midday, notice a few flurries possible into the west. Into the afternoon, maybe a sprinkler flurry here or there. Most of us just gray. It'll be rather dreary out there, but as far as the moisture is concerned, it's very spotty in nature. I put about a 30% chance. Most of you might not see much at all, but just have that umbrella handy. Mid 40s, cool, kind of raw, not so nice of a day. Then as we head into tomorrow night into Tuesday, we're still somewhat unsettled. We still have an easterly component, and Tuesday morning we do have some shower chances around here. But progressively through the day Tuesday, those clouds should start to move out of here. Temperatures will climb. I think we'll see some clearing. We're talking mid to upper 50s for the day on Tuesday with some sunshine. So we're starting to turn the corner here as we head into your Tuesday. Tuesday into Wednesday's temperatures similar, but still more in the way of sunshine. Later in the week, we get that surge. High pressure sets up off the coast, kind of almost a Bermuda high, if you will. We get that south southwesterly winds. And that's what takes those temperatures up for later in the week. But tonight, those clouds are increasing, mostly cloudy, spotty sprinkles or flurries tomorrow. Don't be alarmed. Not going to cause issues on the roadways. But if you see some flakes flying, it's not out of the question for sure. Always get that download for your Stormwatch app on your phone, whether it's a Google, Android, if it's an Apple. We'll always update the forecast there to keep you on top of things. Your extended forecast, though, shows that trend of sprinkle flurry action tomorrow, spotty shower mainly early on Tuesday. Wednesday, we transition. It's a little drier, still on the chillier side, but look at that, 74 Thursday, 80 on Friday, even Saturday. Cherry Blossom Parade is Saturday, and right now looking mild. Yes, I have a shower chance in there, but that's later in the evening, depending on the timing of the weekend rain, Sunday. Could be even warmer if the showers hold off a bit, but I still think looking pretty solid for the Cherry Blossom Parade on Saturday will be part of it. Can't wait. Good times and at least some warmer weather. We need the blossoms to stick around a little bit longer. Yeah, we need those blossoms. Thank you, Brian. Today's chill did not stop people from making it down to the Tidal Basin to see the cherry blossoms. And Q McRae shows us how they took advantage of the last day of peak bloom. There's no questioning it. Cherry blossoms are a sight to behold. Why else would thousands crowd the Tidal Basin annually? But don't let the clear sunny sky fool you. It was cold outside. Dipti Raj, being from Canada, knew exactly what to do. <laughs> you have plenty of layers. You have layers I to got share. got a scarf. Oh, you're good to got go. My cherry blossom top. There you go. Underneath here. Yes, you're good to go. That's what I'm supposed to be wearing. Most visitors bundled up, nothing like a sweet embrace to warm the soul. The cold weather was one issue sightseers dealt with. The other, traffic. It was a mess. Parking, a nightmare. Though some got lucky. We actually found a spot right away. So it was, the traffic was really difficult getting off of the freeway. Once you found a spot, it was picture time. Everyone seemed to be snapping or posing, whether you're from out of town or up the street. I mean, we don't really get a lot of time off work, so today is actually a perfect day to just walk around. Yeah, yeah we live like a little 10 minutes away from here, but we don't really get to see it often. A few days once a year. The cold and gridlock, a small price to pay. It is absolutely worth it. We live in a beautiful city. In Southwest Washington, Q McRae, ABC 7 News. And ABC 7 and News Channel later proud sponsors of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And we would like to see your photos from the Tidal Basin. So just download the ABC 7 app and then click See It, Send It to upload those photos. Awesome. Looking good out there. It's got to get a linger. It's got to keep them around a little bit longer. Yes, We're indeed. Run down there and put a little shellac on the tree. Yeah. Shellac. <laughs> okay, that'll yeah. work. I'm glad you're wearing green. Yeah, it, it kind of works out with the master. That's right. And... The green jacket. Could I get some of that green money? Oh, that'd be and nice with, with 11 today? million. That was a lot of me. money. That's all I need. <laughs> we'll take you down to Augusta for the final round of the Masters. Plus, Sunday night baseball at Nats Park, Washington, facing the Mets in the series finale. Sports is next. Stay with us. 97.1 Wash FM.
We're always updating our playlist. Playing over 97 minutes of commercial-free music to start your workday. We'll keep you feeling good with the best variety of the 80s, 90s, and today. On 97.1 Wash FM. Are you stuck in fear? You know, fear paralyzes us. It keeps us from moving forward. Jesus can get you going again. Put your trust in Him today. Find styles from every corner of the world at Greenfront. Whether it's rugs from India, porcelain from the Orient, or furniture made here in the United States, Greenfront brings a world-size selection into one incredible location. Explore Greenfront in Manassas today. You have dreams. And like adventurers everywhere, you dare to imagine better. She's getting so big. We, too, imagine a better world. We imagine better for you. That's why now with RCN, you can get internet and digital TV, including Showtime and the Movie Channel, for as low as $29.99 a month. 